The All Blacks may have been without inspirational captain Richie McCaw, whose injury against Argentina's ruled him out of the remainder of the rugby championship, but they have a ready-made replacement in Kieran Reid. When McCaw took a six-month sabbatical earlier this year, he was barely missed as Reid led the All Blacks to a 3-0 series win over France. It's special, you know, I think, uh, especially at home. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's awesome to run out in front of your, your home fans and, you know, they're just screaming, you know, right in behind you. And I think, yeah, the special thing is you can look around, there's, you know, 20 to other guys who, are, you know, got your back and willing to do what they can. So it's, it's a cool moment. When I was growing up, I probably wouldn't have expected to be <laughs> captaining rugby sides or, you know, even the All Blacks. So uh, I think something that's naturally progressed in myself, being, uh, I think, a, a leader of guys. And, um, yeah, it's been awesome to have, you know, Richie there to um, be a part of my career and, um, and learn from. Um, and then so I can be myself as well when I get into the spot. You know, you can uh, do what you do best and, and uh, lead the way you, you want to do it. Yeah, he's captain pretty much my whole career so it's um, you know been a lot to learn from him um, you know certainly as a leader he's someone who commands a lot of respect and um, you know his actions speak most most louder than his words you know out, out on the track so um, you learn, learn that side of things and you know he he's a man who will put his heart and soul for the team and I guess that's a uh, thing that I kind of take from him. As a youngster, Reid's sporting prowess was obvious. He represented New Zealand in both rugby and cricket, but once he made the decision to focus on the oval ball, his rise through the ranks was rapid, making his all-black debut in 2008 against Scotland. Probably the first thought was uh, we ran out in pitch black darkness. <laughs> I turned the lights off for some reason and uh, nearly tripped up on the running track, running onto the field, so uh, that was a scary moment. First test, didn't want to... Uh, be blushing too hard, but um, and then after that, I think um, yeah, probably yeah, how just how hard it was, you know, the intensity of the test match, um, you know, certainly struck me, you know, it was real physical, and so it was probably pretty cool to, I guess, be a part of. Reed's appearance against South Africa marked his 55th cap. He's acknowledged by many as the best number eight in world rugby today, but with the introduction of the new scrum laws, he's having to adapt his approach to the game. You've got to be pretty smart um, with the hookers. It's, it's tough on them to hook the ball now with the pressure that's going through. So you've got to stay on a bit longer, um, add your weight. <laughs> Not that they'll say you do too much at the back, but as much weight as you can, you know, to try and help us out. And then, uh, um, yeah, be a bit more patient with the ball and work with your halfback. Um, opposition ball, I think it's, yeah, it's key to stay on because um, I think, uh, especially against teams who pride themselves on their scrum, like Argentina, Africa, They'll keep it in a bit longer nowadays, so um, you can't really afford to relax and, and get off too early. Still only 27 reads the latest in an illustrious list of New Zealand number eights that includes Sir Brian Lahore, Buck Shelford and Zinzan Brook. He's in no doubt that heritage will continue long after he's gone. I certainly, you know, wholeheartedly believe there's so much talent in this country. I don't think you need to, you know, be at a you know, private school or a rugby school to, to get where you need to be. If you've got the talent, you've got, you know, the belief especially and a work ethic and, and you can do it. Um, and so, yeah, I'd, I'd say to, to kids around the country, you know, enjoy your footy, play with your mates and do that. And then uh, I think from there you're going to get a lot more rewards than maybe what you could do. You know, there's nothing better than uh, getting out on the field and doing your bit and, and sharing it with your mates and uh, it's, it's pretty awesome.